Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Manu Sugar, watching your tech and coding channel, My Code Works. So guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to install MongoDB server and how to create a collection and how to create a DB inside MongoDB. So let's get started. First thing we have to go into My uh, MongoDB Mongo Mongo MongoDB download directly and let's go to community server download. We are going to install cell as well as MongoDB server community uh, server so let's directly click on this one and then it's the current version is 7.9 and the package should be msi and you can select the things right as of now so i'm going to install on windows so you can select the windows and then if you want to change your version you can also select from here so let's click on download and it will download the mongodb uh, installer msi installer so let's de download it here and then finally we'll download the mongodb cell also mongodb cell okay so let's go back and then we'll download mongodb cell so let's click on mongodb cell and then so let's click on okay so we'll download as a msi here let's click on msi and uh, click on downloading so it will download a uh, mongodb cell also which is important to connect with the mongodb server and write the things right if you want to write the query and all we, we are going to use mongodb cell so these two uh, just now it's getting downloaded here as of now you can see here this is almost uh, downloaded mongodb cell is downloaded mongodb server community edition server is almost downloaded also so let's wait little time okay so let's click on this one or directly open this I just click on opening the particular MSI installer and then move to. So it's showing me that preparing to install as of now. Till that, if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and click on bell icon for more updates. So as of now, this installation uh, UI is now ready with the things. So let's click on this and I accept. So let's click on complete. Don't change anything, whatever it is coming, leave it as a, uh, whatever it is as a by default and click on next. Click, click on next and install it so it will take little time so it's installing the mongodb compass and then we'll see it's almost being installed you can see here mongodb compass is now uh, opening it and uh, we can also see the connection and everything ui right so let's do the things right let's open or uh, this one right so it's running on local host connect uh, we'll see once it's installed i have now let's uh, minimize it and uh, let them complete the installation first so uh, mongodb is completely installed in our system and let's click on finish so first thing we have to do is we have to set the uh, environment variable so let's go to the installation directory and uh, we'll set the environment variable so that when when we uh, open command prompt it should work fine so let's go to the c and then uh, after this we have to go to program files and then let's check mongodb install somewhere or not so let's go back and then check program files this one mongodb so as you can see here mongodb is now installed this one so let's go inside this one server inside this one 7.0 till bin we are going to copy this one and let's go to environment variable let's set this environment variable open it and uh, we'll set the environment variable though so let's click on environment variable we are going to click uh, system variable path let's click on double click and then click on new paste the uh, particular directory here and let's click on okay okay save it and close it so open a command prompt open a command prompt and write mongod so mongod as you can see uh, it's returning me some data and uh, so it's returning some data right so if you see that setting down the these other things are there okay exit code 100, 100 this total elapsed time something something summary time okay so mongod is now working fine with this one or something it's showing let's see as you can see here data db not found right some missing right some error we are getting so let's do one thing we are going to create it's showing me on the data directory c slash data slash db so let's create a folder here called data 
and inside this let's create a folder called db and then let's run it again mongod now i think it should work fine so let's install that mongo shell here let's click on this one let's click on run it will install mongo shell as we downloaded just now so let's click on next click on next it will install let it install first copying new files it will take little time so we are not getting any error here as of now like earlier we got because we added the db folder and the data also so let's click on this installation has been done now let's do one thing we'll create one in point uh, command prompt let's create uh, open a command prompt and we'll write mongo sh mongo yes current mongo sh log id and this mongo db is now installed as 7.0 as you can see that now we are inside so dbs it will show the databases now i want to create my own database right so i will use this one use my code works it will switch to my code works now i can create a collection right and then i can create a collection so let's create one record here so db dot uh, lecture dot insert one Title or directly let's put title. How to install Mongo DB? So one row should be inserted. Let's print this DB dot lecture dot find dot pretty. So as you can see that we just created a Uh, insert we just created our record and we just inserted it and we are able to fetch the data right title how to install mongodb so that's all for today video i hope you are able to install mongodb in your system and you are able to run the queries and if you want to know where it is running your mongodb you can check this server and it's running on localhost 127.0. this is called localhost and the port is 27017 so you can directly use this port and you can uh, directly connect the mongodb server running on your localhost thanks for watching this video we'll meet in next video with some other content till then bye bye and please do like share subscribe and click on bell icon for more updates